What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just share my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I want to be real, raw, and honest with you guys. I always have this like conflicting problem with like sharing too much of my life online, but then also being genuine and authentic with you guys and letting you guys know where I'm at. Currently, today and yesterday, I'm just struggling to be honest. Um, I had a very, <sighs> long story short, I feel very dysregulated today. My system is feeling anxious, I'm feeling irritable, I'm feeling upset, and I had a very, very stimulating day yesterday. I was around a lot of people that I know, and, and to be 100% real with you guys I wish that I wasn't around some of them like I had some conversations that were triggering to me I'm feeling dysregulated basically and I'm feeling overstimulated from people so today I just want to be by myself I want to get back to my happy place I don't want to socialize with other people I just want to be alone doing my thing and I want to do some retail therapy so I am going to be going thrifting today I just want to eat food that I like, drink my coffee that I like. This morning I did end up snuggling my dog. That always helps me feel a lot better. And so I did spend, I don't know, 10 minutes just cuddling with my dog, which was so nice. I love him so much. And now today I am just going to be spending the day with myself. Maybe I'll take myself out to lunch and doing retail therapy. So if you guys are down for that type of video, sorry if I'm not my normal peppy self. I'm feeling off today and I just, I just want to have a good day alone. <laughs> All right, you guys, let me know down below in the comments what you guys like to do for like self-care days. I have a bunch of other things that I like to do, but today I just feel like shopping and getting out of the house. But I'm curious what you guys do for like self-care or when you're feeling just overstimulated or like annoyed at people, to be quite frank. Let's go. Got my coffee and we're hitting the road. Hey you guys, today I am at Goodwill in Auburn, California, and I'm just heading inside and letting whatever I find come to me. When I first walk in, it's the jewelry case, so I spotted this interesting looking belt. It was a chain bronze metal belt. Looks very fun and like artsy. I didn't end up getting it, and then I went over to the housewares. I loved the frame on this guy, but I didn't love the painting. So I was really thinking about it. I think it was around the $8 mark, but I did end up putting it back. But I just thought that the frame was so beautiful. I love the white and kind of like gold details on that. I would have gotten it if it was a mirror. Next up, I went over to the shoes and checked everything out. I did end up spotting these little kind of cognac leather boots. I thought that they looked really high quality. I don't love the round toe. I'm more of a square or pointed toe kind of girl, but I could tell that they were real leather. And so I did hang on to them for a little while while I was shopping. I ultimately put them back, but I just thought that they looked like really nice quality boots. I also saw these cute little Birkenstocks or their Birkenstock dupes. I have a black pair and a tan pair, so I was thinking about these ones since they were more taupey, but I also ended up putting them back as well. And then I wanted to show you guys these cute little boots, again with a round toe, but I loved the tassel detail on those, so thought I'd show you guys. Does this look familiar, you guys? This is a purse, and I recently got the small version of this at a different thrift trip. So I was thinking about getting this one so that I could have the like insert that goes inside. It was only $5 and I was really tempted. I think it's really cute and very boho, but this did have quite a lot of wear. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it had a lot of like little pilling. So I put it back and then I saw this patchwork little bag. This was handmade by somebody. I love patchwork, but I didn't like the size of this one. It was actually pretty small, so I don't feel like I could fit much in there. So I put that one back. Saw this cute little basket plant holder. Also thought that was cute, but didn't get it either. <laughs> and this I was really going back and forth on. I thought it would be a good basket to bring in Everett's vegetables from the vegetable garden. We have lots of zucchinis, tomatoes, and all sorts of vegetables. So I was thinking about grabbing that for him to bring all of the veggies inside. 
Next up, I headed over to the dresses. I loved this dress. It was a one shoulder and had fun, colorful stripes that you guys know I'm into, but it was way too big for me, unfortunately. If it wasn't, I would have gotten it. And then I also found a few little like coconut girl, Hawaiian hibiscus printed dresses. This one was very cute. It was a little bit too big for me as well, um, but I did like it. So I thought I'd show you guys. I also found this fun kind of like crepey dress. It looks more like a bridesmaid's dress to me, so I did put it back, but I really liked it and thought it was high quality and have been loving orange, as you guys can see that I'm wearing orange right now. I also really liked the print on this dress, but it didn't have any straps and that doesn't flatter my body shape, so I put that one back as well, but I loved those fun palm leaves. I saw this on a new rack that just came out and I've been liking pink, so I thought I'd look at it. And then I saw this fun teddy bear jacket in the coats. Do you guys think that these are still gonna be in style this winter? I hope so, cause I like the style, but it might have been a fad from last winter. Also saw this fun moto jacket. Unfortunately, this one was fake leather. If it was real leather, I would have grabbed it, but it was pleather and they had it at $20, which I thought was a little expensive for a pleather jacket so I didn't grab that one. Right now is a great time to look in the sweaters and jackets though, because it's not picked over yet. I also found this little vest. It was from Shein, so I didn't grab it just because it's not the greatest quality, but I thought it was cute. And I did also find this free people sweater. This one was so soft, you guys. And I love free people, one of my favorite brands, but I didn't love the buttons down the front. And so I put it away. That's like the theme of the day as I put everything away. This top also looked very free people to me. Um, it wasn't, but it looks very anthropology free people. Thought it was cute. Always a sucker for our embroidery. Um, another little orange blouse. It kind of has that scrunching going on wasn't my size but i loved it and then these pants were cute i love the pockets of the pants but look it has a hole in the bottom there so i didn't even try those on but i loved the pockets i also want to show you guys this cute little sparkly tweed skirt this would have been great for an upcoming video that i have planned that i'm going to be doing gossip girl type outfits so stay tuned for that video Thought I'd show you guys a quick OOTD, have my sneakers on, some cream little BDG jeans, and my orange Gucci Peppa Pig little crop top that I found in the kids section. <laughs> and then here's a sneak peek of what we're trying on today. First up, I have this polka dot, kind of like oversized jacket type thing. I wasn't sure if it would be cute or not. Tried it on and it just looked too grandma for me. I couldn't figure out a way to style it. So I didn't get that one. Next up is this gorgeous bright green, 100% silk blouse button down. I was really excited about this one and it was so soft. You guys know I've been loving green. And so I was trying to style it up. Now looking back, I'm kind of sad that I didn't get this one, but I ended up saying no and I'm kind of bummed about it. So that one I should have grabbed. Hopefully it went to a good home. Next up, I had this little black and white Vipers jersey shirt tank top. Found it in the little boys section. And I've been feeling in a sporty mood, so I did end up grabbing that one. I think I can style it cute. It's a little out of my comfort zone. Again with the Kelly Green. Go Bobcats, it says on the front. It was in the little boys section, and I've been so into the Kelly Green. But I said no, because I recently thrifted a very similar little tee. Next up is this cute, girly, crochet little sweater or I don't know, like knitwear. I thought it was very cute and it reminds me of anthropology kind of style. And so I did end up grabbing that one. And then next up I found these fun cargo-y jeans, um, like utility looking jeans. I like the square pockets and the side pockets and they were kind of baggy. So I did end up getting these guys. They were just from the brand Shein, which I said earlier I don't normally pick up in the thrift store, but their jeans actually surprised me and have held up really well. So I feel like these ones were worth the $7. And that is it for my haul, you guys. I headed off to the car and we will be doing a little bit more shopping. So stay tuned if you guys wanna see what else I ended up getting. All right, guys, I can't ever film in these kind of stores because they get mad or they you're just not allowed to film. Um, 
but I just went into Ross and I did end up picking up a fragrance. So I figure it was a blind buy. Um, I've been really into uh, celebrity fragrances because they're really affordable and sometimes they're really good. Most of the time the lasting power on celebrity fragrances isn't great. Like since buying a bunch of them, there's only been a few that I've actually enjoyed, but I figured I would just smell this one really fast since we're here. And I know this doesn't have to do with thrifting, but you guys like to see what I purchased. So this is Rihanna Riri. I've gotten a few of the other Rihanna fragrances and I do think I'm gonna do a fragrance, like a celebrity fragrance haul because I have gotten quite a lot. <laughs> um, but I heard this one was nice. The other two that I got, I did like. So I'm hoping this one is just as good. Riri by Rihanna. I'll tell you guys the notes really fast. I don't know why they never say the notes on the fragrance box. Like why, why? Because I feel like I'd buy so many more fragrances if they just listed the notes on there, but they never ever do. A fruity floral. And it has top notes of passion fruit, rum, mandarin orange, and cassis. Middle notes of honeysuckle, freesia, orange, bro orange blossom, and jasmine. And then base notes of vanilla, musk, and sandalwood. And then here is the fragrance right here. It is like a clear juice, which is interesting. From places like Ross, you can return fragrances, just so you guys know. And this one was $14.99. Oh yeah, it kind of smells like watermelon or strawberries, like a little bit of like a light fruity floral. Yeah, I definitely get the fruity in the very beginning and a little bit more of the floral. It smells nice. I would say that this is nice like um, springtime, daytime. It doesn't smell like a nighttime fragrance for me. Very nice. All right, you guys, I'm off to my next shopping. I think I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx. <laughs> I'll let you guys know if I get anything. I wonder if TJ Maxx has their dressing rooms open. Let's see. All right, you guys, I just got out of TJ Maxx. I didn't find anything in there. I just took a quick lap and there wasn't anything in this one. So I'm gonna go to another one that's, I don't know, like 15 minutes away. Hopefully there's something good in the next one. It's a lot of stuff going on out here, you guys. <laughs> and it is 12.50, so I'm starting to get hungry. Might need to get some lunch soon. I'm at TJ Maxx number two. I'm gonna go in there, check it out. I'll let you guys know if there's anything good. BRB. There wasn't anything inside TJ Maxx, but I did get some taco salad for lunch. I have to turn on the AC. Sorry, you guys, it's so loud when the AC is running and I am trying to talk to you guys, but it is 100 degrees outside, so I'm so hot. I'm feeling a lot better than I was this morning. I felt like I just needed to de decompress yesterday. Like I said, it was just a super social day and it wasn't necessarily with like people that I wanted to be really social with. And I actually had quite a few instances where I was in some conversations that I just felt so uncomfortable and honestly kind of disrespected. Like I got into a conversation that had to do with my diet and it felt very condescending towards me and also very just like uneducated and also very judgmental and I didn't really have much to say about it because it obviously was something that I didn't want to talk about and I didn't think was appropriate and I was trying to be pretty obvious that I disagreed but yeah that was interesting and then I was also hanging out with some people that are pretty how do I say this in the nicest way I'm not trying to offend anyone but I was hanging out with some people that are pretty heavy drinkers and sometimes when they are drinking um, things just go in a really unhealthy way or like it can be kind of aggressive or just not a situation that I like to put myself in. I don't have any problem with people drinking especially if they can handle their business but sometimes drinking does cause you know arguments or embarrassment and things and I was kind of put in a situation or like with some people that often get themselves into situations like that so I was feeling a little anxious about that and then I was also in some conversations that had to do with 
conspiracy theories and spirituality and being woke and awakened and you don't have to look down upon other people because your opinions or your beliefs are different than them. You can believe what you want to believe. That doesn't make you a stronger believer or a more spiritual person because someone else isn't or doesn't have the same opinions as you. So it was just kind of a rough day yesterday, honestly. I honestly probably won't even include this in the video. <laughs> I am back from shopping that day. It's actually been like a few weeks now. Um, number one, I am wearing a wig. You guys always ask whenever I wear wigs, you guys are like, oh, your hair looks so good or did you change your hair? I have a bunch of wigs and I love wearing them, especially for videos. Let me know if you guys want like a wig collection video. Um, also, I currently have five dogs in my house. This is Olive, meet Olive. Um, my mom and my grandma are on vacation right now. So we have our two dogs and then we have their three dogs. So. Um, if you guys hear any funny little noises or see anybody, five dogs currently. <laughs> I definitely am feeling a lot better, but it was something when I was looking back over the footage and editing the video, like I definitely feel like when I'm feeling that way, I just need a day to myself to like decompress, even if it's just going for like a walk or doing something else. You guys know me, I love shopping. And so retail therapy is always just really just helpful for me to get my mind off of things, kind of like be by myself and do my, my happy, my happy thing. You know what I mean? So first up, I showed you guys this actually in a previous video, um, but I didn't try it on for you. So I figured I'd just show you one more time. I did end up getting this cute little red bandana skirt from Forever 21 at Goodwill. Not that day, but a different day. Um, but I figured I'd just throw this into the haul. It was $4.99, so I'll style that up cute. But I did end up getting this super cute little white crochet summery kind of like, it's not a is it a sweater? I'm not really sure. I would just wear this with like a white bra underneath. It is a little see-through, but maybe like a white bikini or white bra underneath. And I just thought it was really cute. It's from Hillard and Hanson and it was $7. And I just liked it. I think it's very feminine and girly and summery. I was going back and forth on this little top. It was from the boys section and it's just this little Vipers number three jersey front. And then it is reversible as well. So you can wear it I think it's like a real children's jersey, you know? Um, so it was $2.99. I've been recently into much more like sporty pieces. You guys know I normally dress very like boho, girly, feminine, but recently I've been getting into more like sporty skirts, sporty dresses, just sportier or like athletic-y casual dressing. And I got some Nikes for the first time. And so I've been having fun like making more streetwear, sporty type outfits. So I got that since it was only three bucks. And then you guys know I actually really like Shein jeans and I know that they're not the best quality, but from my Shein hauls, I actually end up really liking a lot of the jeans. So I did find these little Shein jeans right here and I got them. Um, they were also $6.99 and they're high waisted, just kind of like a light color denim. And then on the sides, they just have those kind of like more utility pockets and a more wide ankle or like wide leg. My mom's 16 year old pug is right here and she's very needy. Here, let's show you her. Hi Shay Shay. You guys meet Shay, 16 and still a trooper, huh? Yep, I'm watching you for a few days. She's like following me around the house everywhere I go. I did not find these at Goodwill that day. I actually found these yesterday and I'm filming another video, but it's a more themed video. It's um, themed for Gossip Girl or like Gossip Girl type outfits. So that's coming next. Um, but I didn't feel like this really fit into the theme of that video and I still wanted to pick them up. So these were 75% off and they were originally $5.99. So just a few bucks for these little like, I don't know, casual sneakers right here. They're gray. They're from the brand Blowfish. And I also found these. They are from Claudia Cluti? Claudia C-I-U-T-I. They are made in Italy, so that kind of shows me that they're a good brand. And um, they are, they were $5.99. They were $6. I just really liked this little like 
buckle brass detail right here and then the way that the straps kind of like fit on my foot and it has a more blocky heel so i really appreciate that and this is actually a shoe i feel like i could like wear around for quite a while and i just really liked that kind of like vintagey style okay and then i did end up getting the riri perfume i kind of already talked to you guys about that but i've worn it a few times and i like it. it's just kind of like a fruity floral i would say fruity first and then floral if you guys want to know what the box looks like it looks like this of the celebrity fragrances i find that the rihanna fragrances i tend to really really like so um, but there will be a celebrity fragrance video coming in the future i'm collecting a few more and then we'll do a huge one I did end up going to Burlington Coat Factory because I hadn't been there in forever and I was right next to one so I decided to pop in there. Like I said, I can't really film at those types of stores. But I did get this cute little like striped stretchy cami shirt right here. You guys know I love these little like, they're almost like a compression cami or compression crop top. Sometimes I can get away with no bra and if I can do that, I'm always happy. It's like a bluish purplish, I don't know, kind of cool little like ribbing. It really reminds me of my Lulu's dress that I recently got. I don't know if you guys saw my Lulu's video, but Lulu's did end up sending me some stuff and they gave me a green dress and I got a green dress that has a similar like ribbing. Kind of matches my nails. I have been so into green the last 12 months, so I ended up getting this Kelly green little tank toppy crop top too. The same stretchiness. This one is very cute. It has kind of like a strappy little top and it was also six dollars and then this is the last little item right here it is from airy and it uh was eight dollars so pretty good price and you guys know me and my colorful stripes i love colorful stripes for some reason <laughs> i have a lot in my wardrobe of colorful stripes so this is just like a high-waisted little maxi skirt that i thought was really cute and it has two side slits i kind of got this with the intention to go to vegas do these colors go together or I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know. I also got some of this little boob tape because I thought I might need it for some outfits when I'm in Vegas, so got that. Thanks for coming along with me. Let me know if you guys want me to do more of these types of videos where I'm going to like all different stores and shopping, not just thrifting, or are you guys only interested in the thrifting? I know that that's what's like mainly what you guys follow me for or watch, but let me know if you guys like these kind of videos as well where I just go to a bunch of stores and just go shopping for the day.